Hey everybody, happy Saturday. I hope you're having a great weekend so far. Um, if you are new to the channel and have never watched before, welcome. I hope you find what I do here interesting or informational or educational. One of those three, hopefully, preferably all three of them, but if you find it none of them, I hope you at least find it entertaining. I hope you at least enjoy what you do here or what you see here and don't feel like you've just wasted your time. If you are a returning viewer or a subscriber, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. Um, you guys are what keeps my channel going, so thank you again from the bottom of my heart. It is greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. Um, I'm not going to do anything real long today, but I have been doing a series on um, bash scripting with flags, and I'm going to kind of um, move on with that series even farther than that. Um, I'm hoping to try and figure out how to do a, a man page so you can have a man page to go along with your script um, and just all kinds of stuff to um, actually improve our scripting abilities and a lot of the stuff I am learning on my own as well um, I'm learning as I go um, so you might see some mistakes in my videos if you do by all means please point them out um, you, if you see something that you know a better way to do by all means please point it out but uh, let's go ahead and launch a terminal and we are gonna zoom in and we are going to actually start writing um, another script so we're gonna go ahead and launch Vim and we are gonna go ahead and wait what's this doom emacs what do we got going on here let's quit let's launch Vim doom emacs I think somebody's trying to tell me something I think somebody's trying to tell me that I've been challenged <laughs> if you haven't been able to tell so far, um, this is not a continuation of my scripting with flags video. Um, that is coming. I am going to continue with that. But this is the second video in my line of challenges. Um, a while back, I put uh, a post out saying I was up for some challenges. I got quite a few responses. Um, I've done one of those challenges already, which was uh, to use the ed text editor to write a script. So we did that one. That was pretty cool. Um, somebody also challenged me to use Emacs. Um, so basically what I have done, if we go to our workspace 2 and we go ahead and launch a terminal and we go ahead and launch my uh, bash RC, let's zoom in here. You can see right at the top here, I have added this alias right here. Alias Vim equals Emacs. So I have accepted the Emacs challenge. I have attempted to use Emacs a couple times in the past. I do see the benefit in it. I do see that it is a cool piece of software. That it is a it is a good tool. It has all kinds of stuff going for it. I just haven't been able to wrap my head around it. Um, I've been a Vim user for the entire time. I've been on Linux. Uh, I love Vim. I don't plan on switching away from Vim, but if this week I'm going to spend in Emacs proves to be useful. Um, I would really like to be able to learn more about uh, using Emacs and using it effectively and efficiently. So this is my goal for this week. You can see I've aliased Vim to Emacs, so anytime I need to edit a file or do anything that I normally would do in Vim, it is going to open Emacs and I am going to fumble my way around in Emacs. So for the next week, this is my life. So if you have any tips or pointers or tricks or any information you think I should know about Emacs or you think that would be helpful to me, I would greatly appreciate it if you would leave it in the comments. Um, I would like to make this week as easy and as seamless as possible. Um, I don't think it's going to be too horrible, but um, hey, you don't know. So I hope uh, this is enjoyable for me. And from now on through this week, when you see me making a video, whenever I get in uh, BIM, it's going to be Emacs instead. So this is my plan. I hope, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope I enjoy it as well. So we've got a wild week ahead of us. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week, and uh, just stay safe. All right? God bless.